Our next guest knows what it's like to run for president and also what it feels like to withdraw and suspend his campaign. Tim Scott was once on the debate stage with DeSantis and Haley and recently endorsed former President Trump. And he joins us now from the great state of South Carolina. Welcome to you, Senator. Let, let, let me ask you this. Was it a Thank question of in, Hey, yes, how are you? Was it a question of endorsing you, Trump versus another candidate? Or, or was it a question of Trump versus just sitting it out and endorsing no one? You know, that's a great question. For me, it really came down to either sitting out or endorsing someone who could lead this nation to the highest level possible. And that was simply Donald Trump. Having an opportunity to work for, with him from 2017 to 2020, we produced the highest opportunity zones in the nation ever. Opportunity zones actually put more resources in the poorest communities across the country. We cut taxes by $2.3 trillion. It was fantastic to work with the former president in such a way that we produced the kind of results that said to the American people, no matter where you live, no matter the color of your skin, no matter what coast you're on, no matter whether you're in a blue state or a red state, your life is going to be better because Donald Trump was president. I made the decision to endorse the president because it was the only option on the table to move America forward. So it wasn't how do I help Nikki or how do I help President Trump. It was how do I help America? And the only way to help America was to focus on Donald Trump. All right, Senator, I want to get you to respond to something. I, I heard a Nikki Haley supporter suggest that you would not have had a job if it were not for her. <laughs> and I could have sworn that you were in the House, which I admit is not a great job, but you had a job. And then you had to run for re-election three times statewide on your own. So to those who say you owed her something, your response is what? Well, it's simple. I heard Governor Sununu's comments as well. He was born on third base. Your, your, your father's a governor. Your brother's a U.S. senator. And you're going to give employment advice. Well, I can say this about South Carolina. I ran against Strom Thurmond's son and won. The governor's namesake son, Carol Campbell Jr., I ran against his son and won. So getting to Congress was not just a, 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 an easy path. But more importantly... Nikki did what was best for South Carolina. I'm going to do what's best for America. And that's why I endorsed Donald Trump. All right. Real quickly, let me ask you this. Midterm night 2022, you had an overwhelming victory. So did Marco. So did Ron DeSantis. And yet it seems the primary voters are sticking with the former president. You talk to voters for months and months. Yeah. What do you think explains that voter loyalty? Well, it's really down to results. Uh, the American voter, especially Republicans, are concerned that the democracy is in jeopardy. You look at the results of Joe Biden, the highest inflation we've seen in, in, in decades since the Jimmy Carter years. That means that the average young person can't afford to buy a house. You look at the devastation around the world. When President Trump was in office, we had peace Peace across the world. Ukraine was not facing an invasion from Russia. China was not looking at Taiwan and chopping, uh, looking, look, look, looking their, their chops. The, the, we had the kind of world that we could be proud of because we had a strong American president. The voters, conservative voters and independent voters, want a return to some normalcy. They want the restoration of law and order. They want Donald Trump. All right, presidential politics was not foremost on your mind this weekend, I don't think. I think, <laughs> I think the world's most eligible bachelor is no longer a bachelor. Is that correct? I think you are now engaged to be, to be married, and I think that's hearts breaking all over the world that I hear right now. <laughs> Well, Trey, I, I will say without any question, uh, Saturday was the day that I isolated for the last several weeks. As a matter of fact, when, when the former president called and said, uh, I really want you to endorse me and I'd love for you to be somewhere on Saturday, I said, off the table. I've got something more important to do on Saturday. It's the second most important decision you'll make in a lifetime. Making Jesus Christ the Lord of my life was number one and the woman I'm going to marry, number two. And so going to the beach and 
getting on my knee and asking Mindy to marry me was so much uh, more important than anything else. And I wanted to make sure that that sacred day would not be disturbed by anything political. Well, she's a beautiful, talented young woman. I wish you all the best. Uh, my question I'll ask you later on. I know how you got down on one knee. I just don't know what, at our age how you get back up off that one knee, but we'll talk about that later. Best wishes to Mindy. Congratulations to you. We'll see you soon. God bless you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.